Now that you have successfully uploaded your resume package, let's take a look at the job postings. Go back to your Students tab and click on Job Inquiry. Here you will see the job search screen with multiple sections requiring your input. If you are searching for a job for an upcoming co-op work term, select the term magnifying glass button and then choose your upcoming work term. If your upcoming co-op work term is for the fall of 2013, you will search for jobs using term 1139. All term numbers start with 1. The 13 in the middle of the code stands for the year 2013. The final digit lets you know the first month of the work term. So the final number of the term code will be 1 for work term starting in January, 5 for work term starting in May, and 9 for work term starting in September. For example, if your work term is in winter 2014, then your term code is 1141. Make sure you've picked the right term number so that you don't have to watch our troubleshooting video. Now that you've identified your term, select Disciplines. Many students limit themselves to only their particular program of study. Don't! You should look at jobs outside of your specific program. If you want to find out more about how to use the Discipline filter to your advantage, please watch our Value Added Job Mine Help video. An initial search will allow you to search up to three disciplines at once. You can conduct numerous searches within other faculties and move any potential jobs to your shortlist. So don't feel that you are limited to searching only within three disciplines. Wait a minute, what does shortlist mean? This is the process of tagging all jobs that interest you, even if you're not quite certain that you will apply to all of them, since you have a limit of 50 active applications. Once you've shortlisted jobs, you can then review each one to determine which you are really interested in. You can also search jobs by level. Typically, first work term students will choose junior jobs. However, it doesn't take long to check intermediate postings as junior students have a wide variety of skills. Each year, some jobs that aren't designated for junior students are filled by junior students anyway. If you're qualified for the job, apply. In terms of job type, there is lots of choice, but as a co-op student, you will check the co-op type that applies to you. Near the bottom of the application screen, you will see a selection of co-op choices. You will typically choose the first co-op, unless you are in architecture, chart accountancy, teaching, pharmacy, are an alumni, graduating, or summer student. Next, click on the Job Status, and a drop-down menu will appear with some options. There are two statuses that matter most when you are preparing to apply for jobs, Approved and Posted. Approved allows you to search and shortlist jobs prior to the postings actually opening. That means you cannot apply to these jobs yet, but you can start preparing your applications. The Posted Status jobs are currently Posted Jobs. These are what you apply to. Click Search to get your list of jobs, keeping in mind that you can do a number of different searches. Ensure that you leave yourself plenty of time to submit your applications to posted jobs. While the deadline is at 11.59 p.m., you do not want to be submitting your applications that evening. There are over 6,000 co-op students in the process, and when all of them are on the system, it can be very slow. Voila! A list of posted jobs! Before I show you a job description, I'm going to show you the time-saving tip I mentioned. After you've read postings, targeted your applications, and saved them on your desktop, you can click on Apply in order to apply directly from your desktop. Remember, that means you don't have to substitute applications in and out of those three resume slots we looked at earlier. After clicking Apply, you're taken to the application screen. From here, you may upload a resume directly from your computer's desktop. Some students will keep several versions of their resume and cover letter on their desktop and just switch them for each job application. This method provides more flexibility to submit a tailored cover letter and a resume to a specific job. But be careful when sending your application package. Make sure you're sending the right documents to the right employer. Before you apply, of course, you will want to carefully review the requirements so you can target your application and avoid applying to jobs you can't take 
due to, say, not having a car or not having an eight-month work term in your academic sequence. Click each job title for just that kind of essential information. If you don't see a job description, you may want to try switching internet browsers. Watch our troubleshooting video or contact the JobMine help desk. Be sure to read each job description thoroughly and research the employers you're considering applying to. A job description may not describe everything about the job since it is often submitted several months in advance of the start of the work term, but it will describe essential information. Job descriptions may indicate specific requirements and CECA will identify them in the comments section of the job description. For example, if the job is listed as a work placement position, you must have received funding from OSAP, Ontario Student Assistance Program, in the current term to apply. This stipulation is strict, as monies to support this program come directly from OSAP and are outside of CECA's control. If the job is a two-work term commitment, this means that you will return to the employer for your second work term. This is a bonus, as you will not have to go through the co-op process when you're back on campus, and you may well get more challenging work at the second work term. If the job is an eight-month consecutive work term, this means that you are expected to work for the employer for a continuous eight-month time period with no academic break after the first four months of employment. This will count as two work term credits. If you don't have an eight-month work term in your sequence, then speak with your undergraduate advisor before you apply for an eight-month position. Not all academic programs have the flexibility of allowing you to switch streams to accommodate an eight-month work term. Since applying to an employer indicates that you are available to work for them, you are expected to honor their request to work for them for the full eight months, not four. The same goes for employers who require you to have a driver's license, up-to-date CPR certification, access to a car, a valid police check, or Canadian citizenship. Be certain to read the descriptions very carefully. Once you've decided which jobs to apply to, be sure to do so before the deadline. When the deadline has passed, you can no longer submit applications or remove them. You can have up to 50 active applications, and if you're early in your co-op career, you probably want to use them all.